everybody. How are you today? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great, but I'm making bad decisions. I think I want to pull, even though I'm not really near mercy. And it's a stupid idea to pull, but the way I see it, it's just ancients. They're essentially valueless. I mean, me, I'm free to play. Everything in the game is valueless. I could pull all this right now. You know, I didn't pay for it, so I don't care. But yeah, I mean, like you can see from my stockpiled resources and stuff, I, I've been pretty passive on this account for a long time, you know, sort of just not doing a lot, not doing events, not doing fusions, not pulling. So I wanted to try to be, you know, just have a little more fun with it because it's a video game and it should be fun. And if I feel like opening my blue, you know, shiny things, then I should open them. So <laughs> the max I could open before I hit my mercy is like 140-ish. So, you know, um, absolute worst situation. I'll have to buy a couple of the little, the little gem packs. But like I said, it's all, you know, valueless anyway. It doesn't bother me. So no big deal if we have to do that. The space is actually the biggest thing I... Yeah, so <laughs> there may need to be a pause at some point. This, this like, honestly, this might, I might do this, like, over the course of the next 14 hours because <laughs> I kind of got to work out my storage space and stuff because I've actually pulled a lot lately, which I don't normally do. Normally, it's, like, pull, clear them all out with chip training, you know, pull, it's a little cycle. But I've broken my cycle with all this pulling. So if you guys are pulling, probably make smarter decisions about it than me, but... I'm not obligated to make smart decisions, and plus, then, you know, you guys wouldn't get to watch openings and stuff, so I don't know. I'm sure I've logicked it all out somewhere. Uh, I guess, yeah, I, I guess I just go for it, right? Okay. So, probably about to pull 140 shards. What's Epic Mercy again? I don't- Oh my- Okay. Wow, that is, um, okay. <laughs> it's just so absurd. Also, if you guys, I know most of you guys who watch me, like you watch all my videos and you're super supportive and stuff. So if you remember in my other Ancients video, I instantly on the first 10 pull pulled a Lego. I won't spoil it if you want to watch that, but although I guess I already spoiled it. So, um, yeah, like I'm just shocked. I literally, like I have been messaging one of my best friends and I'm just like, I shouldn't do this. This is stupid. You know, we've been going back and forth about this like all day. So it's just hilarious. And also he said, he's like, you'll pull 40 and get it. Trust me. And I'm like, yeah, uh, you're hilarious. But apparently 10. And then the, the other thing about this is even if I have no intention of pulling like the full amount in a double Lego, I'll usually pull like 10 or 20 just because you never know how insanely lucky you might get. So... I guess had I just decided to do 10 today, I would have gotten insanely lucky. Um, okay, so the Legos themselves, now that I'm over my shock. Um, also, last Sacred Shards opening video, watch that one also because I'm, I've just been getting some insane luck lately. So watch that one too. I won't spoil it. Um, okay, so both of these people are new for me. Uh, this is also my first Shadowkin Lego. D like, literally, that faction is just an absolute barren wasteland of uh, legendaries for me. Um, I think he's pretty cool. Like, he might not be the most amazing champ in the game or anything, but, like, you know, he's not super bad or anything. He's got the speed aura... Um, he can actually get quite a bit of turn meter against like buff heavy teams and you know cycling through his stuff So it's definitely not a bad champ or anything and considering I just pulled 10 ancient shards and I'm nowhere near mercy like You know, I'm completely happy Um, this guy I don't know too much about is this the guy that people pair with like Trunda in a Hydra? Let me look at this Oh, he's the one who, like, poisons you and then he heals you because you're poisoned. Yes, yes, okay, yes. This is the guy that people use in, like, Hydra teams with 
big damage dealers because you can do a lot of damage with this. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know too much about making those teams. Definitely not an expert here or anything. But yeah, I think this champ has like very cool, but maybe a little niche uses. So as you can tell from these descriptions, neither of these are champs that I'm super knowledgeable about. So that'll be fun to learn more and try to use them. And obviously should be good. Uh, what's the aura resistance? Yeah, so that that's also a unique, interesting kit. Removes all debuffs except poison, just so you can keep, you know, keep this passive up. And then shield also. So, wow, super cool. I think that's also my first Ogren Tribes Lego. I think everything is just new. Let's just take a, a peek -a Okay, so Shadowkin... Oh, I have Genzin now. I forgot about that. I'm sorry, Yoshi. You're not the first Lego. Still working on the Mikage fusion. I don't even think I got an epic, right? It was just like... <laughs> it was just a bunch of rares and Legos. So silly. Okay, and then Ogrins. Yep, that's the first there also. Although, to be fair, I do have Gerda waiting uh, to be full pulled from fragments. So, yeah. But, I mean, I'm stunned. I don't, I don't know if I have anything else to say. I feel like when you guys see the length of the video, you'll know. Like, I, I just pulled 10, but. Um, yeah, so if you guys pulled, oh my god, I know there's been so many pulling events lately. So if you pulled in this event, I hope you got something cool, to, to something new at the very least, like, you know, with Curse City, we'll all probably be gearing a bunch of chips who would have sat in our vaults otherwise. So that's something cool and positive about it. Whereas before, we would probably just look at like a mid-tier Lego as just someone useless who's never getting used ever. So awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weeks. I also, I already posted about it, so you guys probably already saw, but I did... You know, I finished up Ancora. The only thing I had, I skipped the 10 fragments in the the Hero's Path. Or I'm sorry, it was the Lover's Path because it's Valentine's Day. So I skipped that. So yesterday I just had to finish up, or two days ago maybe, I just had to finish up AE. And the dreaded Ice Golem. Good God, I hate this dungeon. Do you guys just feel like it gives points like five times slower than the other dungeons? I just, I can't even explain it. Like, I'll run Dragon all day and love it, but Ice Golem, please, no. And I want some of the sets too for Hydra, like Provoke, but pain. Pain. Okay, but once again, you guys, thank you for joining me on my weird pulling adventure lately. And I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your week and take care of yourselves. Goodbye.